An early morning fire destroys 12 units, displaces 15 people, and causes about a million dollars in damage. Now, the fire happened at the Jefferson School Apartments near 1000 Southwest Temple. ABC4's Rosie Nguyen talked to a resident about the fire and trying to move forward. Ephraim Castillo says he was on his way home this morning when he noticed several units at the Jefferson School Apartments were on fire. He says it was immediate fear and panic because his mother and three children were still inside. Ephraim Castillo didn't think he would be spending his Thursday morning packing up what's left of his belongings. It's a surreal life experience and um, I don't waste this on nobody. Castillo was driving home to the Jefferson School Apartments shortly before 4 a.m. when he saw his apartment building on fire. And I'm stopped by the police and the fire department. And I'm, and I'm screaming out loud like, my family's in there, my family's in there. To his relief, his mother and three children evacuated safely and sought refuge across the street. Castillo says he was still able to salvage some clothes and necessities for his family to use. Although he's unsure what their next step is, he's just glad everyone's okay. You know, it's only items that we, we're losing. You know, the, the good thing that the people that I love are still here, you know. The American Red Cross says their volunteers have provided financial assistance to those who have been displaced from the fire. Firefighters say the cause is still under investigation. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Rosie Nguyen, ABC4 News. You know, firefighters say there's no reason to believe the fire was suspicious. Despite all that destruction, no one was injured as a result of the fire.